Hi everyone. Welcome to lesson eight, part three, calendar invitations. So in our last video, we went over how to use your Google Calendar and how to schedule events. In this video, we look at how you can invite people to those events and also how you can respond to invitations that you receive. So Google Calendar has this great function where you can invite as many people as you want to a calendar event. This is really useful if you're planning anything that involves more than one person, whether it be a business meeting, a community meeting, a party, this is a great way to plan the event and invite people. So first of all, you'll need to create a new event and select the more options button so that you get this screen with all of the options that you have to customize the event. Um, if you don't remember how to do that, go back and watch part two again. So once you're on this screen, you're looking for the part over on the right that says add guests. In order to invite your guests, you need to know their email address and you type their email address into that box that says add guests and you hit enter. Now, like I said, you can invite as many people as you want. So you can continue to type in email addresses and hit enter each time. Once you have all of the people's emails uh, entered and you've also filled out the rest of the information for your event, you click save right up here. Once you click save, you're going to see a little pop-up like this. It says, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? If you want them to know that you invited them to an event and you want them to receive the invitation, you should click send. Now let's take a look at what it looks like from the other point of view, if you're the person receiving the calendar invite. So when you receive a Google invite, it comes as an email in your inbox. So this is an example of one right here. I see that it's from Hannah Blunden. I see it's an invitation and I'll see the title and maybe the date and time. But if I wanna get more information and view the invitation, I need to click here to open up the email. When I open it up, I'll see more information about the event. I'll see the event description um, and I'll also see an option to RSVP. So I can select yes, maybe or no. And then if I select yes, I can select view on Google Calendar and will open up my Google Calendar and that event will automatically already be in my calendar. I'm gonna actually take you through what that really looks like. So here I am in my email. You'll see that I'm in my inbox and you'll see right here that I received an invitation. Um, and this invitation is for a class party. So in order to open it up, I hover my cursor right here on top of it and I click once and my invitation opened up. So if I scroll down, I see my description here. It says, here's the title, class party. It says when it is, and then it says a class party to celebrate finishing the online computer skills class. So I think to myself, yes, I definitely wanna to go to that. So I select yes. And then I'm gonna select view on Google Calendar. It will automatically open up my calendar. And I'm gonna click ask me later for that. And I see my new event right here for the class party. It popped up automatically on my calendar. Now we've also been mentioning a lot about the notification feature. So you have the option to change your event so that they send you notifications a little bit before the event happens. If you've selected that option, your notification can be displayed on any electronic device. That includes your phone, your computer, or a tablet. And it will pop up like this, it's a little white box. It'll tell you a reminder. Remember you have a class party coming up at 5 p.m. and you can just select okay. It's a great way to make sure you remember appointments or events that you otherwise might forget. All right, so you have completed the video for part three calendar invitations. What you'll need to do now is return to the Google Classroom classwork page and take the lesson eight part three assessment. So for this assessment, you will have to fill out a short Google form that's going to ask you some questions about a fake class party. And once you fill out that form and click submit, you'll have to go back to your email and you'll receive a calendar invitation. So in order to receive credit for this assessment, you're going to need to respond yes to that calendar invitation, and then it will appear on your calendar. Now, once we check and make sure that you did that, 
we will delete the event so that it's not going to be cluttering up your calendar. Okay, thank you for watching.